Hey guys, Luis Moreno here, Simply Health Insurance Agency in partnership with 360 Insurance Group. All right, here's a question from one of my agents. I got insured, I'm trying to quote an ACA plan. He makes $25,000 a year, but he just got this job. He hasn't had, he hasn't worked, you know, the first six months of the year. What do I use for their income? Great question. I'm going to answer that as soon as you like this video, comment down below if you need to, or you want to, and definitely subscribe to my channel. All right, so here is the answer to that question. All right, so here's what I would do, and and uh, you know this it's 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 about running the math. So the first thing is you have to know is you got to know what the household size is because uh, the minimum income to qualify for subsidies and for CSRs cost sharing reductions, which lower the deductibles, the the co insurances, the out of pocket and co pays, is based on that calculation. All right, so I'm going to show you first the uh, the income chart. This income chart is in my smart book, guys. So if you're interested in getting the smart book, I update it every year, one time a year, and I am going to raise the prices on this soon. But right now you can go get it 50 bucks. I got it in English and Spanish. All right, click up here and you can go, go to the website and purchase the smart book. It's got a lot of material in there for agent use. All right, so let's go check out what this minimum income chart is. All right, so here's my smart book, guys. I update it every year. You have access to it if you're one of my agents or if you're not one of my agents and you wanna buy it, guys, I'm gonna post a link down below and also up here so that you can get uh, uh, get access to this book. Here's all of the stuff that I have in this smart book, guys. I've got the, the poverty chart. Uh, you wanna know what, what's considered income, I've got that in here. Income frequently asked questions and answers is in here. A, tie, a, a table of taxable and non-taxable income, okay? I've also got household, uh, you know, who to include in the household, uh, you know, uh, household Q&As, uh, immigration documents, uh, the different types of documents. Uh, so I've got all kinds of stuff in here for you, special elections, all right? You got to know that. Uh, I've got the low-income special election, the unwinding of Medicaid and CHIP FAQs, uh, the family glitch was fixed. I got a lot of stuff in here for you all. It's 50 bucks one time, guys. Uh, a great reference for you all to write. But let's go look at the uh, the chart. So this guy makes $25,000 a year and just started a job. And let's assume that he's single. He files just by himself, no dependents, no spouse. So a household of one would be $13,500. we are going to increase that to $13,600. we are going to round it up. All right. So now that you know that, let's go do some simple math. Okay, so we've got the $25,000 in income here. All right, I'm going to take the $25,000 and I'm going to divide that by 12 months. I come up with $2,083 a month. Okay, now, if he's only going to work six months, well, let's just say we are in June right now. And let's assume that he started a job. In June, all right, so that's June, July, August, September, October, November, December, seven months. We're going to take this and multiply it by seven. All right, so let's go do some math here. 2083 times seven, bam, that is going to be 14,581. Okay, so he the, the minimum income threshold is going to be 13,600. So he's met it, you know, he, this guy is fine. But here's the scenario. Let's just say he doesn't start the job till Ju till July. It's only six months. All right, so let's go do same calculation, 2,083 times six. Uh oh All right, we're now sitting at 12,498. We're a little bit short of that 13,600. In fact, we're about 11 hundred dollars short of meeting the minimum income all right so here's what i would do i'd have a conversation with this insurer and here is what i would ask them because here's the differences guys all right i'm going to get in here and i'm going to run a quick quote just to give you an idea of what the differences are okay i'm logging in right now and i will share this with you all right here we go All right, so let's go in here and let's run a quick quote for this person. So he's a 26-year-old male. All right, so let's assume 
He's going to make, he's only going to work six months. So he's short of that income. He's at 12,600. Okay. Well, he gets no subsidies and he gets no CSRs. And let's go to a silver plan. Okay. The lowest silver plan is $317. His deductible is 58. The out of pocket, this is his worst case scenario is 89. Very high. Doctors are 40. Specialists are 80. Generic drugs are 20. Okay, so if this is all the income he's going to make, well, then this is what it is, guys. Okay, I would not manufacture income to get him some lower rates, but I would have the conversation with this individual. Say, look, you're about $1,100 short. If I take your income and I bump it up to $13,600, huge changes in your plan. So instead of paying, what was it before, $12,600? Instead of paying $317 for your plan, your rate drops to zero. Your deductible, instead of it being $5,800, it drops to zero. Your out-of-pocket, instead of being $8,900, drops to $2,800. Your doctors drop to five bucks. Your specialists drop to 10. Your generic drug co-pays drop. Your plan is super enhanced because you're getting subsidies, and you're getting cost sharing reductions. So getting his income to 13,600, huge benefit for this individual. But here's the deal, to have a conversation with this individual. Look, you're $1,100 short and you've got six months. What, you know, I, I, if I put 13,600 and you don't make it, you're gonna have a potential tax liability when you file your taxes. You may have to pay that $322 times six back in the form of a tax liability. And I don't want that to happen to you. But do you have the ability to make $1,100 between here and the end of the year? Maybe you can put in some overtime, okay? Maybe some bonuses, okay? Depending on the job. Uh, can you earn, can you have a side gig? You know, maybe you go and sell some stuff, uh, pick up a, 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 a anything to earn that $1,100. If the insurer tells you, you know what, yes, I can make that happen, then put in that 13,600, okay? Get it done, All right? Now, if you get an eligibility requirement for the income because there's a mismatch in what IRS has and what you're inputting, then you can generate a letter. Have the insured sign this letter and indicate what's happening. Hey, I just got, have the insured write a letter out saying, I just got a job. This is what I'm earning. I'm earning $25,000. I'm going to work six months. I estimate my income to be $12,600. Plus, I have a side job, and I'm going to earn an additional $1,200, $1,100, whatever the amount is. Okay, I'm going to be uh, cutting grass. I'm going to be, uh, ooh, I'm going to become an Uber driver, or whatever it may be. Whatever the side job is going to be, that you're going to pick up that additional income. Get the insured to sign that. Get it from the insured. Submit it to healthcare.gov. And 99% of the time, they look at it and they accept it and you've satisfied that requirement. Plus, you've taken care of that insured. You haven't manufactured any income and everybody's going to be happy. All right. Now, here's a little thing that really, really bothers me out there. There's ads that are out there running uh, with a disclaimer that says that, the, that this person is agreeing to use minimum income. Do you think they know what that minimum income is? And it's based on the household. What if they only give you the data for one person, but they're married or they claim some dependents? All right. So you go in there and you, you make, you run a plan based on the disclaimer of using minimum income. And now they go file their tax returns. It's in, it's, it's February, March of the following year, and they're going to go file their tax returns. And now they've, they've received all this subsidy throughout the year. And because they claim, because of this disclaimer, the numbers are off and now they have to pay the subsidy back. Get ready, guys. You're, they're going to find out who that agent is. They're going to do some research. They're going to find you and they're going to be calling you. And they're going to be extremely pissed. Oh, start playing with people's money like this. Not a good thing. I would never use a disclaimer that says you're going to that they're going to, to uh, uh, use minimum income to determine their subsidies. If you're doing it out there, guys, get ready for that storm to hit you in February, March, 
April of next year. Okay, I would never, never do that. I don't train my agents to do that. So we train our agents to do the right thing because we want long-term business and we want to take care of our insurance. So if you want to work with me, guys, I'd be glad to do that. Here's what I'm going to do. Down below, you, there's my email. Hit me up with, with um, uh, an email and I'll send you over contracting. If you're partnered up with somebody else, you're like, I don't want to do business like that. I'm not getting any training. You know what? Shoot me an email. We'll try to move. We'll try to uh, get a release and move you over to me. Gosh, we're doing great things over here. So if you want to partner up with me, I'd love to. I also train and support our agents. Okay, we have a training program that we'll put you through. I'll take you from zero to hero. I don't know nothing to, I'm, I'm great at ACA. I will show you how to do that. And then we have a support platform where you can go and answer questions or ask questions and I get in there now, answer them for you. And plus, I'm going to be there when you're stuck with the client. You can pick up the phone and call me. Hey, Luis, I'm sitting with an insured right now and we're stuck. You know, what do we do? All right, so you get, you get all that from me. And so here's what I want you to do, guys. If you want to get my smart book, click down below or click up here and you will get... Uh, You'll get the, the the link to go purchase my smart book. A couple of things that I've got for you. Um, we've done very well with our ACA uh, production. We've done extremely well. We get a lot of leads from social media. And we run true ads. We don't run any, none, none of this clickbait crap. Okay. We run true ads. We get insured. We call them. And all that was done because I partnered up with Shauna, who is great at social media advertising. If you want to get her class on how to run social media ads, I'll have the information down below. If you want my ACA 101 course and my smart book, get the information down below. And I have a beautiful, I have a great CRM. It's called Agent CRM. That's why we've done so well. It's a communication tool that we use for not only my book of business, for auto, home, life, ACA, and Medicare, but... It is, it communicates with my leads. It, it's just, it's a wonderful tool. If you want to get information on that, click down below. Guys, uh, thank you. And don't forget, comment down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel.